So I've just come back from a month spent in the deserts of Amman with the Austrian Space Forum conducting an analogue Martian mission. We had analogue astronauts, we had two spacesuits, and every day we were conducting spacewalks or EVAs, extravehicular activities, um, conducting scientific experiments uh, and assessing what life would be like on Mars. Uh, being in the isolation of the, um, of the deserts of Amman was a really crucial factor in increasing the fidelity of uh, what you would experience on a Martian mission. So if the RAF received a distress signal from Mars, you'd certainly need to have aviation space medicine doctors involved in designing the life support systems and thinking about the medical considerations in order to get those people there and back. And there's a whole number of, of um, medical considerations to take into account. Uh, it's a really dangerous environment going all the way to Mars and back. Uh, and those are things that we'd need to think about. I was acting as the medical officer, looking after the general health of the crew, but also specifically monitoring the astronauts during their spacewalks and making sure that they were fit and healthy to, to carry on the next day. I was able to discuss um, issues with the medical team back in Mission Support Centre, back in Austria. However, there was a 20 minute delay for any reply, which is exactly what you would experience on a, on a real Martian mission. So for a mission to Mars, there are a number of medical concerns that, that we as doctors would have. Firstly, it's a really long way away. So you would want to think about how we're going to protect those individuals from radiation. Secondly, you're in a vacuum, so you need to be able to provide um, oxygen and pressure to those individuals to keep them alive and consumables for the period of time that they're away. These people are going to be in isolation for quite a while, so we have to consider the psychological aspect as well. And a big problem is deconditioning, so without gravity uh, you lose a significant amount of bone mass and, um, and muscle mass and which leaves you when you land on Mars, which does have some gravity, and make it very difficult to, to walk around and operate and you're at risk of, of injuring or damaging yourself. So there's a lot of research going on to try and combat these issues and facilitate uh, missions to Mars. Space is a really important topic because it's the future but not only that, but it has so many applications to how we operate on a terrestrial environment back here on Earth. So it's a really exciting time as we're planning these lunar and Martian missions for young people to get involved in science, maths, medicine, all of these things that we need to enable a mission to get to Mars.